All right, <clears throat> this is my Pentium. Um, this thing was originally <clears throat> a Pentium 75, so that makes it a socket five. Um, it originally had eight megs of RAM. I think it's got 16 now. Um, but anyways, this is a great machine that had been uh, barely used. I still, I, I got it with the original box and the original monitor in the original box also. So that's kind of neat. So the first thing I did is I went and I bought, uh, I bought a Pentium uh, 233 MMX, which as you know, let's see if we can get to focus, that's a socket five right there, so it shouldn't work. But I had heard rumors that it'll actually work. What happens if you put it in socket five is it gets slightly over, over bolted. Well, this thing's okay with that. <clears throat> and it also, being a 233, it reassigns the 1.5 multiplier to make 233. So I had to jump around a whole bunch. There are no jumper labels on this motherboard. Turned out this one changed the uh, multiplier, although that's where it was originally. And one of the others, I think it's that one, changes the bus speed because it was at 50. Now it's at 66. Anyways, we're seeing 233. Well... This is actually black and white, but for some reason my camera's picking it up as yellow. That's whatever. Oh, it's just the refresh. Okay, so yeah, CPU ID, it's a P55C, um, 232.27, so 233, MMX, um, 66 by three and a half. Yeah, see, like I said, it's got 16 megs of RAM and uh, yeah, the, the video card in this thing is great. It's got expandable video RAM. Um, it's got this uh, modem sound card thing that Packard Bell loved to put in there. Um, it's a crystal chip and an Aztec. Yeah, so, eh, yeah, it's decent. Mm, happy two-year-old, just give him a screwdriver. Anyways, yeah, um, it came with a zip drive and I also had one from a garage sale. They're both in terrible shape. The windows fell out of both of them. This one is missing this arm that opens the disc as you insert it. So I, I used the one that's even more damaged. I might swap the case, but this one worked fine. The reason I needed the zip drive was to put the DOS utilities on here. I have a internet connected machine that I downloaded them on. Although I suppose I could plug an ethernet into this and probably get it online. Does it have ethernet? No, no built in ethernet. So yeah. A zip disk or a burned CD is probably the best option for this thing. <clears throat> Want some uh, toast? Toddlers. Anyways, um, yeah, so the original hard drive's still working fine. Um, yeah, so the performance level, if we can get this to, yeah, see, we're right at P55C 233, just a touch shy of it, maybe between the Cyrix and the, the real one. But yeah, this is the real thing. Uh, it's running Windows 98. Boy, howdy, when I when I uh, turn this processor up, this thing boots up quick now. So it's a happy machine. So I'm really happy with it. Um, so let's exit this. Um, we can do the quick time demo. Let's try it at 640 by 480, because like I said, this thing freaking rocks. Here we go. And yeah, we're just blasting right through it not lagging at all this is a grayscale vga monitor i got hooked to it so that's why there's no color and it's a little dark but uh yeah i like the grayscale it's kind of neat oh. there we go. Do, do, do. get done with the benchmark okay there it is 34.1 frames per second which is what i just got last time i read this so all right, so yeah, it's pretty neat. I, I haven't had to do anything with the, um, the cache or the CPU. What's that? S, check CPU, S. So Pentium MMX, 232, genuine Intel, 543, 5, uh -huh, whatever. <coughs> Anyway, so um, right back cache, um, yeah. So this motherboard also, um, let's see. Uh, it's got spot to solder on some surface mount cache, 32 by eight SRAM. 
and um, I think I've got some extra video memory I can put in here. Um, Cirrus Logic. Um, yeah, like I said, this VGA chip is rocking. And this CPU isn't getting too hot at all. I did use heat sink paste on this fan. Heat sink. Yeah, I got I got the CPU uh, at REPC. They had a, a jar full of these things, so I just picked one. Probably need to change the CMOS battery at some point. But it's it's like soldered on, so it's kind of going to be a pain. But uh, yeah, I think that this Daddy. thing did support an Ethernet port, but it Daddy. didn't get one. So this is system option. Daddy. Sound card seems to work, but I don't have it installed right now because I was fitzing with other things. Anyways, that's that's the oh let's uh let's reboot it into Windows. Uh, let's stop throwing things on the floor. Packard Bell. The BIOS shows it as 133. That was really confusing when I initially tried to set this up and I had to go and download the DOS bench to actually get some real numbers. Keyboard. I've got the big monitor with the speakers on the side. Oh, floppy in the disc. Toddler. And then I've got a drive over leg. Oh, I did upgrade the hard drive on this thing. Okay, so it's got a drive over leg because I put a much larger hard drive in here. We'll show you that when we uh, get into the system. I get this VNet BIOS complaint. Whatever. There we go, we're up. Okay, so. Let's close some of these windows. Whoops, not maximize. Got this really junk mouse. Ugh. There we go. It's got a ball in it. Ugh. Who uses a ball nowadays? What's that say? Um, M-S-A-M-P-C-A-T. Hmm. Microsoft Amiga? I don't know. Anyways, so we've got disk properties. Yeah, I put a 40 gig hard drive in this thing and I used the uh, drive overlay software to make it work. So that was pretty cool. That was the last time I was messing with this. So that was pretty cool. And we've got a working CD-ROM drive. This removable disc is the zip disc. So, yeah. Um, like I said, the zip disc came with this machine. Um, CD-ROM, yeah. Um, it also came with a bubble jet printer with spare ink. So, uh, I haven't tried that one out yet. I mean, like print shop or something for this. But yeah, this is Windows 98. So, we'll click on the start menu. Windows 98. I believe I did a fresh install after I put this drive in here, so... Yeah, because I was wondering why it didn't have zip drive drivers. That was a pain in the butt. That's what all these files on the desktop are, is zip drive drivers. Anyways, yep. Thanks for following along. Let me know if you want to see something else on this machine, but uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet. I just uh, kind of had it. It's great to have, and yeah, I, I like hot rodding things like this, making them go faster than they were meant to. Maybe I should do a... Okay, six two three hundred in here next. <laughs> well, why not? <laughs>